Chrome Download Manager. It's a new download managing tweak for, well, Google Chrome. It has some pretty big shoes to fill when you think about it. Safari Download Manager is sort of a legendary tweak. So does it live up to Safari Download Manager? Well, we'll see. Let me show you here. First of all, let's download a file. I'm gonna select Snow Breeze. So let's see, let's tap and hold on here. Open that in a new tab and look what comes up. Chrome Download Manager. You see I have the option to either download or cancel the Snow Breeze zip file and it'll actually save to the VAR Mobile Media Downloads directory. So this is a pretty nice interface. Let's go ahead and cancel that right now. Let me just show you what happens normally. Normally when you try to open a zip file, this is what you see. Chrome cannot download this file, but with Chrome Download Manager, as you see, bam, yes. You have the download option and it even puts a little badge notification showing your pending download. So I tap that, tap, oh, tap downloads. Oh, it's not actually loading that up. Normally it should load up the interface and show me my download, but it's not doing that because there's, well, it's still buggy. This is what you see. Normally you would see under downloading, you would see the download progress, but the download completed and you see this interface here. I can delete open with and you see iFile there is my option. There are other options if you have the proper applications installed, but here I can delete or open with. And of course, iFile is an option as well. Actually, let's go ahead and open that up here with iFile. Let me just show you the full process of downloading. So you will need iFile, obviously, to manage these files. There it is, Snow Breeze. And of course, I can unzip that if I wanna do that. Let's head back over to Chrome. Okay, so what if I wanna delete these? Well, I can swipe to delete one by one or I can tap clear all and delete, but this only deletes it from the little queue here. It doesn't actually delete from uh, iFile. So if I go back to iFile, you'll notice those files are still there, the iOS 5 JPEG and the snowbreeze.zip file. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't actually delete those files. Now, another nice thing is if it detects a file that can be downloaded, it'll actually go ahead and put download that file right there at the top and then you see it downloads the Red Snow JPEG file, just like that. So very promising jailbreak tweak. You have, of course, a kill switch there in the settings app, but it still has a lot of bugs. I mean, this thing is buggy as all get out right now, but it is a 1.0 release. As you can see from the description, there are lots and lots of features here as far as what types of files you can download, what types of apps are supported to open the files, and right now you can get it for an introductory price of three bucks, which is pretty pricey considering the bugs contained within, but this thing I have a feeling is gonna be a great, great jailbreak tweak in the future once some of the bugs are ironed out. You can find it right now on City's My My I Repo for $3 as an introductory price. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.